you also had to help with bills and had to help him with things. Yep. And you kept that a secret from your dad. Your dad did not actually know that you were paying for things until after he had died. Hi, Valerie, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, where is you? Where are you all going? We are in Oregon. You're where? We're in Oregon, we're just in the, it's louder in the house with the kids, so we're in the car. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're all here. And right away, there's a couple different souls that are stepping forward on the other side. And first of all, your father passed. Yes. Know that he's stepping forward. And when I'm connecting with him, all I keep smelling is cigarette smoke on the other side. And know that first of all, with your dad as well, I'm also seeing a child that had passed away that's with him. So where was the child that had passed? I had to have an induction because it I, I wasn't able to continue carrying. Know that that soul is with your father. Now, wait a minute. There's also another soul that's here. I keep hearing of an amputation. Who yeah. had the amputation? My husband's dead. Your father's also here, sir, because there's this man that's coming through saying, I have my leg back. I have my leg back, he's telling me. So he lost his leg here in this world? Yeah. yeah. Know that he's coming through. And more importantly, your father says to me, Matt, this was traveling throughout my whole body. He shows me his leg being black and infected. And then he's showing me that he almost lost his other leg as well. Yeah. So no, it's his way of acknowledging that because you, if you're, he's like, listen, if her father comes through, I got to come through. And your dad just showed me, he showed me him here in this world, being in the wheelchair. And then he showed me on the other side, being able to walk and being able to, to move and letting you know that he had, has that leg back. You know, this was such a hard thing because your dad is also showing me that he was fighting diabetes here in this world as well. Yeah. He shows me that there were all sugar issues that were going on throughout his body. And he says, Matt, he goes, you know what killed me? It wasn't the diabetes that killed me. He says it was my love of food. That's what he's telling me. Do you understand yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your, your father, he loved food here in this world. And I got to tell you something. He showed me when I'm connecting with him that your family would actually try to hide, hide things in the cupboard and hide things away from him. And your dad would get angry. Like, he's like, no, I'm eating what I want. I'm eating what I want. Yep. And he says to me, Matt, he goes, I have to apologize to my family because they were the ones that were trying to keep me alive. And your dad says to me that he's sorry for getting upset with you because he used to argue with you about going to the doctors, about getting about get, getting checked out. And I even see like when he was losing that leg, I saw you all saying to him, dad, you need to go to the hospital. Dad, you need to get checked out. This isn't normal. Do you understand that? And he shows me by the time he had gotten to the hospital, it was too late. Yeah. And you know what's so crazy? He hid this for quite some time. Oh yeah. Because I saw, I, I don't want to be graphic, but what I'm seeing is very disturbing. I see that somebody, I don't know if it was your mother, but I see somebody lifting up his, his jeans, okay? And I'm seeing this his leg being all black and then freaking out and being like, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. That was my wife. Okay. She, she used to go over to the house and make him wake up and take care of him. So you saw that. Yeah. So know that he said to me, you saved his life. I'm gonna tell you something. This wasn't just a normal amp amputation. This isn't like, oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna amputate because you know, uh, to stop an infection or to do this or do that. This was, your dad was going into sepsis. He shows me that he had a blood infection that was all through him. And yeah. if you didn't go and lift up his pant leg and you didn't see that leg, your father would have died. Yeah. He had 11 surgeries on his leg. <gasps> So know that that's the reason why, because he's acknowledging that. And he talks about sepsis going through his body. Do you remember, do you ever talk about sepsis with him? Yeah. Because your father came so close to dying so many times. I got to be honest with you, because he's showing me sepsis going through him. And I see your father laying there and I see him being unconscious. I see him being delusional. I see him not even knowing what was going on. And then all of a sudden he snapped out of it. I don't know how the hell he did it. I see him snapping out of it. And then your father, he says to me, he was asking you to sneak him in food into the hospital. Yep. So you yeah, snuck he's asking to bring a burger. Yeah. Yeah, he got any any kind of food. Yeah, I see him wanting burgers. He's telling me, go get me a burger right here. Go get me a burger. Yep. So know that that's his way of acknowledging from the other side that, you know, he will never forget what you had done for him. He says, Matt, he goes, I want them to know that every day that goes by, that I am fine, that I am with them. And more importantly, your dad says to me, thank you for keeping me alive. And more importantly, there's one other thing that your dad's saying to you. He wants you to thank, he wants to thank you for keeping him in his house because he knows how hard it was for you. Because keeping him in his house, what meant that you also had to help 
with bills and had to help him with things. Yep. And you kept that a secret from your dad. Your dad did not actually know that you were paying for things until after he had died. Yeah, we took care of him the last nine years of his life. Your father's going like this to me. He's showing me this this um, credit, the, the, what's it called? The um, I don't even know what this is. The checking checkbook. Can I tell you everything? <laughs> not like you don't know. Your father says to me that he died penniless here in this world. He did. He says, and Matt, he goes, I would have lost my house if it wasn't for my son, but my son never told me. Your dad did not have a dime to his name and you never let him know that. You always said, dad, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. There's money in the bank account. Don't worry about it. Do you understand that? Yeah. When he died, he goes, Matt, he goes, my son lied to me. I had no money, he's saying to me. He was the one who was taking care of everything. So your dad says to me that he wants to thank you for that. He says, because having a son like you was one in a million and you don't give yourself enough credit for what you did with your dad. And I got to tell you, your father wants to let you know one other thing. He won't leave me alone, by the way. He keeps, he keeps <laughs> working, talking to this man. And it's funny because your dad goes to me, Matt, I wasn't like this here in this world. I wouldn't have been putting it all out there, out there like this. But I have to do yeah. this for my son because your dad tells me that there were times when he disappointed you within his life. And he says to me, there were times when he goes, literally me and my son would get into <laughs> fights and not speak with one another. For years. He says to me, but it doesn't matter. He goes, you forgave your dad. You stepped up to the plate when you needed him the most. When, when he needed you the most and you saved your father. He says, and for that, I will never forget that. He wants you to know that. He says, so please know that I'm okay. Please know that I'm on the other side. And that more importantly, my soul is with you. All right. I really hope that uh, this helps you. Tremendously. For sure. <laughs> well, my, my dad told me, he says, if there's one thing I'll do, if there's a way I can try to talk to you, I'm going to try. That's crazy. So. He's here today. Listen, that just shows you what it's like. You know, the, the souls on the other side will reach us any way that they can. And that's his way of doing so. Right? I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for being here. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.